What exactly is happening at Ubisoft and especially with Frontiers of Pandora? Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day and one of my most anticipated video games at the moment is of course Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a Ubisoft title which was supposed to be released in 2022 but Ubisoft did delay it until this year. But since its delay, we haven't really seen anything about the game. And with the release of The Way of Water, one would think that Ubisoft would want to essentially jump on that hype wagon and at least do some sort of announcement or some sort of event talking about the game, getting everybody excited, but Ubisoft has been, well, quiet about it. In fact, the latest news about Ubisoft has not been good at all. This coming from an article on IGN, which I will leave in the description below and the pinned link if you guys want to read the article yourself. And the article was written by Rebecca and it goes as follows, quote, Ubisoft cancels three unannounced games, delays Skull and Bones for the sixth time. Ubisoft has announced that it has, for the sixth time, delayed Skull and Bones as well as cancelled three more unannounced games amid major challenges in the industry, the underperformance of Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope and Just Dance 2023, and an upcoming restructuring. In a press release today, Ubisoft outlined a new strategy for the remainder of its physical year as well as lowered expectation for the last physical quarter. Ubisoft explains the move as a result of the company facing major challenges as the industry continues to shift towards mega brands and long-lasting titles that can reach players across the globe, across platforms and business models. While Ubisoft notes its goal has been to build large, overarching global brands, the release adds that games from this investment phase have yet to be released, while our recent launches have not performed as well as expected. Specifically, the press release later calls out Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope as underperforming in the final weeks of 2022 and early January despite an ambitious market marketing plan. Just Dance 2023 underperformed as well. In response to these issues, Ubisoft is delaying Skull and Bones for the sixth time and is also cancelling three unannounced projects on top of the four it already cancelled last year. For Skull and Bones specifically, the new target looks to be early 2023-24. Assuming this means physical year, the soonest we'll see Skull and Bones now will be April of 2023 and may be as late as December. Ubisoft is also depreciating 500 million of research and development on upcoming premium and free-to-play games and the games they're cancelling, and is looking to both focus on fewer games going forward and potentially restructure and reduce costs in the coming year. It's reduced its net booking targets for the quarter ending December to 725 million from its previous target of 830 million. During an emergency investors call today, this news certainly worried some investors who questioned what Ubisoft had remaining in the tank with all these delays and cancellations. They were reassured that for the next physical year, the one that starts in April, Ubisoft has Frontiers of Pandora, which was already delayed, Assassin's Creed Mirage, and other premium unannounced games, including a large one." End quote. So quite a bit to take away from here, most, like I said, it is not good news for Ubisoft. I mean, they roughly cancelled seven games over the past two years, which is quite big for a company like Ubisoft because, well, they do like to go big with their games, so it's a lot of money essentially wasted. Of course, they will take away from that and learn from what they, the mistakes they made in those games, but I do feel that Ubisoft has made the mistake of trying to jump on this, uh, I don't know how else to put it, but this like Fortnite bandwagon of pushing out free-to-play games with a lot of microtransactions, hoping to make a, a quick buck with those games. I mean, their, their Battle Royale game, Hyperscape, I believe already shut down or is going to shut down. And they were developing another Battle Royale game based in the Ghost Recon universe, which from what I understand was eventually cancelled. I think it was called Ghost Recon Frontline or something like that. And there was extensive gameplay shown, which they, like I said, cancelled that. And essentially, aside from their Assassin's Creed franchise, their other games doesn't seem to be doing too well. Aside from Skull and Bones, which has been delayed six times. And keep in mind, this game has been in development since 2013, so roughly 10 years at this point. I would say Ubisoft is in a little bit of a trouble at the moment. However, one good news from this emergency investors call was that they do mention Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I know it was delayed already, and although they didn't really say anything else about the game, aside from that it is releasing in the next physical year, at least they didn't delay that game again. And considering that Ubisoft has stated that Frontiers of Pandora is releasing in the next 
next physical year. I can easily see this Avatar game releasing around April, maybe May. And considering Skull and Bones has been pushed, I can see them aiming for possibly a November or October release window for Skull and Bones, thus releasing Avatar more in the middle of the year, as it should be roughly the same time when Avatar The Way of Water is releasing on digital and 4K versions. Because on some speculated articles, I did see that people are stating The Way of Water could potentially release on Disney Plus and 4K disc around the end of April, early May 2023, and that would essentially be an ideal time for Ubisoft to release Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Regardless, I am happy that they did mention the game still coming this physical year, or the next physical year, excuse me, and that there wasn't any delay announced, but the overall news about Ubisoft is not that great, but I'm fairly certain they will not cancel this game. But what do you think about the release window of Frontiers of Pandora? Do you think we'll get it in late April, early May, or do you think we'll get it towards the end of 2023? Let me know in the comments below, and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day, and stay safe.